Megan Hicks of Iron Far, and I'm here at the finish line of the 2016 Hard Rock 100. I'm with women's third place finisher, Bethany Lewis. Hi. I'm here with your quads, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're definitely here, and I'll be feeling them for a couple days, I'm sure. So I'm in an interesting position in this race, and in I didn't get to see any of the race take place because I was behind you. And doing awesome. Anyway, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. But I, I heard a lot about your race from our crew, uh -huh. and it sounds, it sounds like things turned rough early mm -hmm. for you. Talk about what happened early on in the race. Um, I was feeling awesome and great and super inspired. Got up above, up above Grant Swamp Pass, and then um, just had about the most awkward descent probably of the day, I'm imagining, and <laughs> did this horrible glissade thing that totally just cramped up my quads and they were convulsing for the next 20 miles basically. So I had to keep stopping and like rubbing them and um, was asking for pickle juice everywhere at the aid stations, couldn't find it. And so my quads were just basically exhausted and wrecked by mile 40. Okay. And so that was hard for me, although manageable, you know, okay. I could alter my stride a bit, and take some time, extra time, massaging things out, but it quickly took me out of the feeling of being competitive. I just really felt like I was really focused on managing so I could finish. Okay, so a so hundred miles alone is a long day, yeah. and a hard day, but then add to it the hard rock hundred miles. Like what's going through your head when you're 20 some odd miles into a race and like you don't, you just don't have all of your body parts working anymore? Uh, uh, I, I, uh, I tried not to panic. Okay. Um, and when I got up to Kroger's and got like the most amazing quad massage from Ty Drini, oh, Jared Ty. Campbell, Jared. Rock, I mean these Rock. legends of ultra running are sitting there massaging Aww. my quads. Um, yeah, boys. Right. Uh, total shout out to those guys. I honestly, I just kept thinking, what would these guys do? They would gut it out. And so, you know. Whether or not I could race the way I wanted to race, I really wanted to finish this race. It, it meant a lot, and so they were inspirational. Um, I passed my husband on the way down from there because he had sprained his ankle and um, knew that one of the Lewises need to, needed to finish. <laughs> Gotta get the buckle. Yeah, and then the other thought that was going through my head was just thinking about all these other, what these few other women in the mm. race and how I wanted to do credit to our gender in this race and just represent at, um, all the women out there. So there are a couple of key, key thoughts that kept going through my mind, even when I was contemplating quitting, which was pretty often throughout the night in particular. But um, that kept me going. Yeah. So the Iron Far crew saw you um, ice your quads in U-Ray. Yes. Lay down for a reset in Sherman. Uh, Maggie's, yeah. But not, not in Sh Sherman. What did you do in Sherman? Well, I did lay, I sort of hung out for a long okay. time. Uh, that was probably the darkest moment, or closest I came to quitting was right there. I and think I said it out loud there. You talked, once. you verbalized I the... verbalized it, oh, moment of weakness, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I, oh, that was bad. And then you had another lay down in Maggie's. Yep. That was, my stomach got, went sour. I didn't eat for about 10 hours. And then I had like two orange slices at Maggie's and I was like good to go and ready to get out of there, so. So what are, um, you, you kind of talked about the, the mental aspect of what drove you forward. What are some of the physical things that you were able, I mean, was it literally just, you just had to gut it out or were there a few physical things that you're able to do to make it more manageable? Um, well, when my quads are actually cramping, stopping and like, any snowbank I saw and rubbing them out with snow, <laughs> that helped. Um, once they stopped just cramping and were just wasted, then having poles, getting my okay. poles, that helped a ton because it at least altered my stride. Other than that, it was really just gutting it out. Gutting it out. Yeah, just trying to take inspiration from whatever I could. And uh, there was a lot of it along the way. I mean, those aid station folks at Maggie's were. I credit them highly. How about the guy who put sunscreen on you at Maggie's? Uh, Did you get that? Um, that was my pacer, Adam Huey. Who, <laughs> I mean, we were both just in awe of these guys. They were taking care of us. They all had a huge amount of experience. Yeah. Their, um, their cumulative experience just telling me I could, I, how good I looked, quote unquote. <laughs> totally <Yeah>. messy right <laughs> Totally lying straight to my face. But, you know, that it gave me enough 
courage to go on. And yeah, there was some super burly muscular dude putting sunscreen on me. I mean, <laughs> the service was amazing. <laughs> Great service at Maggie's. Great service at Maggie's. Okay, Highly recommend that eight station. <laughs> up in the mountains. Yeah, totally. So Hard Rock is a race that gets into people's blood. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come here and say, you know, one and done, and then you sleep on it for a couple nights or a couple weeks, and suddenly your name is in the Hard Rock lottery list again. What about you? How do you feel about the the potential of your future at this race? Um, I would, I would love to come back and race to what I think is my potential here. Um, I don't think I got to do that yesterday. Um, Just pretty incredible how fast you still managed to run despite 80 miles of issues. It's nice of you to say. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I feel a little torn. I feel like other people deserve a chance. Um, I don't want to take that chance away from other people. Um, but I would like to race this race again. I, it, I honestly was thinking that even when I was suffering towards the end, was I'd love to come back and give this a <laughs> give this a good go. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah. Yeah. Time will tell. Time will tell. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Congrats to you, too. Thanks. Yeah. Recover well. Yeah. Ooh, let's shake it. Yeah. <laughs>